Today, we will be discussing the ruminant digestive system. What animals have a ruminant digestive system? Well, some that you may know include cattle, llamas, goats, deer, and sheep. Other questions that you might ask include what does a ruminant digestive system look like and how is it different? As you'll notice, this is an image of the digestive system. It does appear to be a little bit different than a stomach that you might be used to seeing, which is, you know, that of a human or a simple stomached animal. If you'll take notice, there are four different parts of the stomach, and that is why it is considered a ruminant digestive system. There are four compartments. These four important compartments include the rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. The rumen is the first compartment of the stomach that the food will travel through. This is where physical movement and breakdown happens. This is also where fermentation occurs, where the food is stored and soaked for a short period of time. Also, vitamins, proteins, amino acids, and volatile fatty acids are synthesized in this part of the stomach. After it goes through the rumen, it is actually regurgitated back out of the esophagus and into the reticulum. The reticulum has a honeycomb appearance, is the second place that the food will actually travel into, and the reticulum's job is basically to trap hardware and unwanted debris. After the food has traveled through the rumen reticulum, it then goes to the omasum. The omasum's main job is to absorb water. It also can decrease the particle size of the food itself. The omasum is also known as many plies because it has many different layers. The abomasum is the final compartment that, tr that food will travel through after it goes through the rumen, then the reticulum, then the omasum, then finally the abomasum, and it gives off enzymes from its walls, it secretes gastric juices, and it acts as a simple stomached animal, which is most comparable to a human stomach or that of a pig or something that you may be more familiar with. Overview. There are other questions that you may be asking. What sequence does this follow? What is going on? And how is this happening? Well, first, food will go down the esophagus and into the rumen, where regurgitation, physical movement, and breakdown occur, as well as fermentation. Then it travels into the reticulum after it has been regurgitated, and it traps hardware and unwanted debris in its honeycomb shape. After the reticulum, it travels into the omasum, where water is absorbed. After it has entered the abomasum and water is absorbed, it tr goes into the abomasum, where enzymes are given off and gastric juices are secreted, and it acts as a simple stomach animal. It then exits out of the small intestine. 